Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video we're going to do a viewer requested figure review, and this is the Marvel Legends Maestro Hulk. 100% new sculpt on this guy. That's pretty darn cool. I like it when they do that. Makes the figure a little extra special. Pretty good paintwork. Of course there's a little splotchiness here and there, but for a standard retail $10 to $15 figure, can't go wrong with it. He does have his, his removable crown as far as an accessory goes. Pretty cool. A little bald head. He stands, he's not the tallest Hulk figure, but he has decent enough size. He stands about seven and a half inches tall. And he just looks really cool. He's more stocky than he is just big. But I do like him. He has good articulation. The head is on a disc. You can see that in there. So it goes up and down, left to right. And then the neck is on a ball joint. So that can move also. But it's really just for the swivel. You're not going to get much forward and back out of it. So it's kind of useless. But it's alright, I guess. Ball hinge shoulder on top of one of these... Uh, vertical butterfly joints which is kind of useless again <laughs> Toy Biz was known for adding articulation where they didn't really need it I think and this is one of those times it doesn't really accomplish anything and it doesn't even hold in place so it's not the best but whatever bicep swivel single jointed elbow almost 90 degrees he has a wrist swivel and a pivot and his fingers are articulated not individually but he does have articulation so that's cool his Torso is on like a diaphragm joint, which is hidden by the belt, so that's okay. It doesn't work that well. You're only going to get a little bit of a swivel out of it, so it's kind of a bummer. And then that is technically that piece down there. The bottom part is on a swivel, but you don't really need to use it, and it doesn't work that well with the belt. It is soft, but it's thick up here, so it kind of inhibits everything. The hips are on a T-jointed ball hinge. Well, it's almost a T-joint. It's a slight Y, but it's effectively a T-joint ball hinge, but the again, the belt thing is going to get in the way. There is a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which is cool, and then an ankle pivot, an ankle rocker, and a toe pivot. So pretty good spread of articulation for a Hulk figure. He's not the best, but he's a pretty cool one, and the fact that he's an all original sculpt and is a nice looking display piece is a big bonus for that guy. So I'm happy to have him. I do recommend him, and I think you guys will enjoy owning him. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.